Did you know that more than 6,000 people have climbed Mount Everest and that 12 men have walked on the moon? But did you know that only 10 people went to the deepest place on Earth? The deep sea remains the last unexplored place on Earth. Only 20% of the sea floor has actually been mapped, although 70% of the Earth is water. So how do we know more about the surface of Mars than the depths of our own oceans? Today on Leo's Animal Planet, we are looking at deep sea exploration. Alexander the Great was one of the first people to ever explore the, the world's oceans. He tried to explore the sea in a wooden barrel. And that was in 325 BC. And later on in the 18th century, diving suits were created, which led to people being able to swim underwater. In the early 20th century, proper diving suits were created out of metal. Did you know that Jack Cousteau had a plan for a deep sea city? Even with all the technology we have today, the deepest someone's ever dived is only 330 meters. Now, it is really dark down in the deep, so that's one reason why it's hard to go there. Water pressure is another reason. It's like all the water weighing down on your body. And then the final one is, well, it's really cold down there. But science has found a solution. Deep sea are vehicles called batiscaphs. They are small submarines that are capable of reaching great depths. And thanks to them, they were able to get to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Did you know that James Cameron, famous filmmaker, captured footage when he dived all the way down to the bottom of the Mariana Trench in a special submarine? He captured footage of new animals that no one had previously seen before. Deep sea dives require a lot of financial and technological resources. In the Mariana Trench, Literally, it's one. The pressure is one thousand times more than it is at the surface. So you need equipment that is strong enough to go down that deep. Batiscaphs are great for going deep, but they move very slowly. And since the sea floor is over three hundred twenty million square meters, it will take decades just to explore all of it. We have another tool to explore the ocean floor. It is called the bathymetry. It measures the underwater terrain by using different technology, like the satellite. It uses radio waves to measure the distance between it and the sea floor. Bathymetries also use acoustic sonars to measure the sea floor. And basically the sound waves to get sent down and then it bounces from the ocean floor to an acoustic sonar and then you measure the depth. The problem is is that these sonar systems are probably disturbing wildlife like quite a lot and it's a monumental task far too big for just one singular country. By 2030 150 countries have a goal to try and map 80% of the world's oceans. The exploration of the ocean floor has vastly improved our understanding of the world. We've discovered species that live without sunlight. We've discovered bioluminescence. By mapping the oceans, scientists predict that we'll discover loads of new habitats and loads of new animals. So these precious ecosystems are already being polluted by plastic and they could be further endangered by deep sea mining. Now do you know what deep sea mining is? Governments and corporations have found what we call an El Dorado in the sea. They have found minerals like cobalt, nickel and gold which are used for new technology like smartphones and computer chips. Major powers are eyeing these precious minerals and with growing interest. 
that is the case for the United States. The United States are now allowing the metal company to begin deep sea mining. And they're doing it in international water, which is against international law. It would destroy marine life and precious ecosystems. And we need to stop deep sea mining from happening. The ocean is a beauty, so it must be saved. Let's hope that in the future, the thirst for information that us humans have outweighs the greed of certain people. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a great time filming it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. But just wait one second, because I would like you to meet Maya. She's lovely, isn't she? Right, I'll see you all next time. Bye.